has long been a pioneer in Gen AI, began developing the technology years ago, had the best talent, but it hasn't been as aggressive with that messaging as rivals like Microsoft and its partnership with OpenAI. On the consumer side, strategy remains uncertain. There were controversies surrounding its image generator and, of course, that innovator's dilemma we're talking a lot about facing its core search business. But on the enterprise side, Google can afford to go on the offense, and that is happening right now in the cloud. I sat down exclusively with Google Cloud CEO Thomas Kurian on just those issues. Take a listen. We vertically optimize, but we are open and offer choice which means we're not a closed system. We're not trying to lock people into our, our tools and technology. We allow people to use it in exactly the way they want to. And they have the choice of models, they have the choice of tools, they have the choice of chips, they have the choice of many other elements. And so that's part of our success has been providing this open platform. At the same time, deeply integrating the pieces so that people get performance scale, security, reliability. How is that different than what other hyperscalers are offering? Well, one of them's offering a closed system. They have one model, one provider of that model. They don't even own that model. The other one does not have any AI expertise, so they only offer third-party models. We blend both. We have our own models, and we have the expertise to build systems and integrate these models into our products so that people can use it. At the same time, we're not taking a closed proprietary point of view. When we say vertically optimized, we don't mean vertically integrated equals a lock-in like another provider. We're also monetizing AI in a variety of different ways, you know, for the startups and the people building foundational models. They get to use our infrastructure and pay us for the use of that infrastructure, just like the way they used to pay for classical computing. People who use our models pay us for the use of our models and our tools. Is that replacing spend in other areas or at other cloud providers? Is that new spend from them? It's new spend. And in many cases, it's doing something they could not do before. I'll give you an example. We process over a million calls for one customer every day using our customer service AI. And if you think of a human being answering those calls, they can do about 100 to 200 calls a day. That's a lot of people they would have to hire. Now, the reality is they wouldn't be able to staff such a large organization, and those calls are not being answered. So now that they're able to do that using our customer service AI, they're able to solve a problem they couldn't do before. It's net new spend for us. It's giving their customers better customer experience, and that in turn will drive monetization for them. Obviously, Google has had the talent in this race, but when it comes to Anthropic, and you made a mention of your rival who's working with a closed source model, Google was first to work with them, and then Amazon came in with a big investment. And can you explain to our audience how that works, why you guys didn't lock up Anthropic, for example, in the same way that Microsoft sort of locked up OpenAI, or did it, and how that relationship works? So Anthropic started with us, and they are still a very close customer and partner of ours. They train their models, serve their models. We've integrated that into our AI platform, something we call Vertex. We're actually giving you know, the, our technology along with Anthropic to many customers. In fact, we have meetings today with, along with the Anthropic team, with several customers to show people how they can use Claude, the Anthropic model, on top of our platform. So alongside Gemini, we do that too. We've never wanted to say, if you want to serve a model through us, you'd have to be owned by us, or you'd be tethered to us. And so we give model providers, whether they're open source companies like Mistral or Llama 2 from Facebook or Meta, we give them choice of where they want to run their models. And if we do an exceptional job, we'll get more customers using our platform along with their models. So both Google and Amazon, they've announced multi-billion dollar investments into that gen AI startup, Darling Anthropic. But 
What I hear is that the partnership could be more important to an Amazon than a Google because Google has its own foundation models like Gemini and its open source version, Gemma. Amazon doesn't, of course, and Anthropic's model, Claude, is a big name to show its cloud customers in a similar way as Microsoft doesn't develop its own model but uses OpenAI's ChatGPT and different tools.